Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. What do you want to be when you grow up? An astronaut? A race car driver? A pop star? There are dream jobs, and then there are jobs that we can only dream about. What would you do if you found out that some of those dreams are actually true? In order to help you stop hating workdays, from that annoying alarm clock ringing to quitting time, we have put together a list of the most enjoyable jobs you'd agree to take, even for free. Number 7. Condom Tester An Australian manufacturer called for applicants for what it claims would be the world's best job, Condom Tester. Durex marketing manager Sam White was hiring Australians over the age of 18 who could apply for one of 200 positions as a condom tester. Unfortunately, the position is not paid, but successful applicants will receive a free $60 selection of Durex products and will be required to provide the company with honest feedback about the performance of the product. One of the lucky 200 testers would win a $1,000 bonus. Maybe the bonus isn't that great. But one thing's for sure, it's a job where employees won't mind taking their work home and burning the midnight oil. Number 6. Rent a Boyfriend Unlike conventional services, such as hire a hubby, where women can get services provided by plumbers, carpenters, or moving people, this service offers ladies the ability to hire one of over 300 men, each presented in a catalog, that they can spend time with any way they choose. This rental boyfriend can go with you to the beach, cinema, karaoke, and even go shopping. You could say it's kind of an escort service in the Chinese manner, but no kisses or hugs are allowed, just amicable touches. This job is paid hourly and prices may vary considerably depending on the leisure activities. And on the average, renting a boyfriend costs about $50 per day for a girl. And of course, she also has to pay for her rented boyfriend's drinks and karaoke ticket, as he will not pay for those things himself. What job could be better? Number 5. An Online Traveler An online traveler crisscrosses the world and tells about his or her adventures in an online diary and could earn about 2,500 euros per month. World Life Experience gathers a team of six men and six women ages 20 to 35 within a year this group travels around 40 different countries in Europe, Asia, Africa, and other regions of the world. The tourists have to write sketches about their adventures, as well as post photos or videos on World Life Experience's website and in social networks. Yes, it's really a dream that has come to life. Just imagine you are traveling the world and getting paid money for being a tourist. Of course, you won't be able to spend all day lying on the beach or walking around the town you still have to do some work telling about your experience. But you can spend your free time on the seacoast or in any other picturesque place, instead of sitting in a cold office cubicle that feels like a prison. Online travelers are free to choose when to work and when to relax, and most importantly, they can do it anywhere on the globe. Number 4. Wine Tester and Blogger Imagine moving to the heart of Sonoma Country where every day you'll come home to more than 450 wineries along the beautiful northern coast of California. Picture living rests free, learning the intricacies of making the perfect wine and capturing and sharing the entire experience for your network of Twitter followers. Now imagine getting paid $10,000 a month to do it. Hardy Wallace of Atlanta, the first person to submit his application, was the winner of the position at Murphy Good Winery a $10,000 per month salary for six months rent-free, updating Twitter and Facebook with his winery live stream. Number 3. The Caretaker of an Uninhabited Island The caretaker of an uninhabited island is probably the best job ever. The duties include walking around the island, scuba diving in coral reefs, feeding turtles and fish, as well as making photo and video reports for a blog in order to attract other tourists. The caretaker also has the responsibility of keeping other neighborhood villas clean and in good order. The caretaker gets about $20,000 per month for living in the tropical paradise. The vacancy of an island caretaker on the Great Barrier Reef made the internet explode one year when the job posting hit. The organizers held a competition to fill the vacancy among all the applicants. 34,000 people from 200 countries ended up applying for the position. 
A guy by the name of Ben Southall was the first one to get the job. He got the house with a swimming pool, three bedrooms and two bathrooms, a golf field, and a salary of $154,000 for six months of working on the tropical island, which is far from being backbreaking. You may think that $154,000 is a lot of money, but not for the island owners, where the most modest villas may cost a tourist a few thousand dollars per night to rent. Number 2. Greaser Greaser may not be the right words for this profession, but it describes the duties well. A hired employee tested grease models with oil for photo and video shooting from dusk until dawn. Just imagine greasing the hottest cover girl's bodies for days and nights. This seems like a job that a lot of guys and possibly some females would want to get into. Number 1. Quality Control Manager Jamie Rascone from Chile used to be an ordinary DJ who got into trouble on a regular basis and could barely make a living. But now he can boast an office of his own and a briefcase full of condoms. You're probably saying, what? The thing is that Jamie is a service quality controller at an adult business, and his duty is to select the best women for a VIP escort salon in Santiago. Girls applying for escort business are strictly selected, including a photo shoot, interviews, and even psychological tests. Only a few applicants eventually reach the final stage where their occupation aptitude is tested by Jamie. He has a very scrupulous approach as only the best girls are selected, and a final report for each applicant is made that estimates them on a scale from 1 to 10. In total, Jamie tests about 70 girls per year. For those especially curious, only one girl and five days pass through Jamie's hands, which may seem like not that many to someone. But what do you think it should be? A job is a job. Working is not relaxing. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.